Hello everybody. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to process the images in Photoshop right before you import them into SolidWorks. So uh, the tutorial here called Making of Marker Pen, if you can't find it, it's under SolidWorks section and it's tutorial number 12C, Making of Marker Pen. If you will click on the images, you will see them that all the images are of a full HD size. The images that we're going to use here is uh, side view as well as the top view and the general dimension that's given here that we'll use in a later tutorial in order to make the pen in SOLIDWORKS. Now you can save these images just by right clicking on them and you will have a save image as option in Chrome and in Firefox will be like save image as URL or something like that. I already have saved those images, so I'm not gonna do that. Let's uh, take a look how to process those images into Photoshop. So here's a Photoshop interface. I'm just gonna double click on it just to unlock it. And I'm just gonna start cropping the image. When you crop the image, you wanna be very very close to the details that you see here closer the batter and I think it uh, seems okay so now I'm going to just confirm this. That looks pretty good. So far one image is imported. It's been cropped nice and clean. Now we're just going to import another image. I'm just going to import in the same frame. And as you can see here it imported as a smart object. It's comparatively smaller. I'm just going to holding a shift button on my keyboard. I'm going to start dragging it. Now, when I'm here in the marker pen side view more, I'm just gonna reduce the opacity so I can see the first image that I imported it first. Now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to merge those points. Holding the shift button, I'm, I'm dragging it again. A little more, okay. Better looks a little bigger at the corner. And I think I can say okay to it. If we see it carefully just by making those uh, rulers visible. On a control button, I'm just gonna make sure those rollers are matching to the edge perfectly. Now we can see just that the other image is not matching the way it should. Here it still seems okay, but I'm still gonna just put a one more ruler here. Holding well, a control button would allow you to be more precise. Holding the other button. Just zooming it out. I'm still on the same one. I'm gonna click on Control T on my keyboard, and it allows me to transform. Holding the Shift button, I'm just gonna make it a little bigger. When it touches that channel line, that looks pretty close. Looks pretty good here as well. I'm gonna click OK, and now I think. Uh, there are two images that are of the same sizes is already ready but as you can see here on the top it's just cutting the image if I hide this and if I make the opacity for this 100% we can see it's cutting the top curve we will need that so in order to add that curve what we're going to do we're going to go to image we're going to go and click on canvas size I'm gonna say relative 
and we're going to increase about to one inch and one inch as well let's see how much does it do looks good let's see if it fits it pretty good now again we have to crop it just to make sure but this time I'm gonna crop smartly with those guide guide curves sorry with those rulers uh, I'm just gonna let it go close here and close here click OK perfect oops it just cut something right down here I'm gonna control Z real quick and make sure that I'm not cropping that making all these mistakes you guys avoid doing it uh, I think uh, that looks okay I'm gonna hide that and see how other image looks like that looks good as well need to have a background of white out there so now what I'm gonna do instead of making the backgrounds and other stuff I mean I'll try to keep it keep both the images same so I'm just gonna add a white color in the, in the background that looks pretty okay and then I'm just gonna move this in the center turn on and see now this we need 100 but we need this a little less That looks pretty good. Perfect. Now I'm gonna save both the images separately in separate files. I'm gonna go to File, Save As, and I'm gonna click on JPG. I'm just gonna make a new folder real quick. And I'm gonna make JPEG, Top View, I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna keep it to the large. Click OK. Now I'm gonna hide that image and turn on another image. I'm gonna go to File again, save as JPEG, and that's the top view. Oops. Okay, so we saved the first one as the wrong one. That needs to be the side view, so I'm just gonna rename it real quick. Side view, top view. Looks okay, and I'm gonna save that as well. Make sure it's large file. Quality should be maximum because it's already compressed when you download from my website. So, and I think now, if we see carefully, we will have both of our images, images saved in the folders. And we're going to import these images separately in SOLIDWORKS on a top plane and a side plane. And we'll take a look at that in the next tutorial. Hope this tutorial was informative. Thank you for watching.